Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I'm coming with you um, doing a collab with a couple other beauties on here. And this is going to be um, all of us sharing our, um, our fails, like our failures and frustrations of 2015. These are items that just didn't pan out for us, uh, work out for us. Um, it can be a line of different things. Mine's gonna mostly be all beauty products, but some of them might have other things. Um, it's just things that just didn't, didn't do like what we had hoped for. Um, you know, it was either an epic fail or it was just a very frustrating situation. So I'm gonna head and jump in and get started with that right away. But yeah, it's just my opinions. It's, it's um, I'm not really bashing. I think it just didn't work for me. It wasn't cooperating, so. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna start with hair products, which, cause um, hair products is a huge thing for me, being is that I have the long natural curly hair and I try to maintain and keep it into the best I can. So the first item I'm going to share with you guys that I purchased in 2015 um, was the Pantene Pro-V Moisture Mist um, Hydrate. It's a detangler and it looks like this. And the reason why I got it was I always loved the Dove one. There's like a Dove one out there. I haven't seen it in my Walmart so I'm not sure if it's discontinued or if it's just my Walmart's not carrying it or what's going on but I just I haven't seen it around for a while so uh, I picked up this one you know Pantene um, it just was a total fail for me even from the get-go from when I first was using it it is so ironically crazy funny because it does say it's a detangler however it didn't detangle my hair in the way the Dove one did and the Dove one was even much cheaper smelled nice I just I loved it um, so it was pretty much an epic fail for me uh, from the very get-go. So for my own self, I won't ever, I mean, there's still a little bit in here. At times I do try to use it, like if I'm running out of something or just, just to use it up so I didn't waste my money. Because, you know, Pantene's a pretty expensive brand, but it just made my hair, it just didn't, it just didn't detangle it. And at times I felt like I was really having to work through my hair and it hurt more than it felt more smooth than you know like what it's supposed to just didn't pan out the next item I'm going to share with you guys I have I it's just it's not even this brand it's just in general but this is the Dove Hair Therapy Refresh and Care Volume Dry Shampoo I heard so many people hype on it on here on YouTube which it, yeah, it's like one of them things YouTube made me buy it kind of thing and because like the Tresemme, <clears throat> the one I was using was like a foam, total terrible. It just didn't work for me and I wasn't liking it at all. So I thought I would go ahead and get this because it's a spray and, but I just, I just have the worst luck with the dry shampoo. I, I don't know how I feel about it really. Uh, most of the time um, I'm feeling like I get the residue like the dandruffy, residue-y kind of stuff that, you know, and um, I haven't tried them all. Um, I am thinking about maybe trying another one. Um, but so far, it's it's just the dry shampoos just in general have been such fails for me and very frustrating on top of it all because I, will, I don't, I'm somebody that does shampoo maybe twice, three times in a week. I don't do it every single day. So the in-between times, it would be nice. Um, but it's just not there. So that's just been kind of a pretty downer for me. We'll go ahead and go into the skin. I believe that's it for the hair now. For skincare, um, I haven't had too many bad problems with skincare. I've been pretty lucky so far of what I've purchased and tried. I've liked it. Like I either like it or I love it, you know, and it's a repurchase or something. Um, but... I have, you know, have been on a budget lately and I've been trying to, you know, watch my money spending and everything. So I seen the Equate Beauty Clarifying Toner. It's this here. 
and then compare it to the um, Clinique Clarifying Lotion 2. So I thought, oh, okay, you know, because um, Equate can be a pretty good brand. I've used a moisturizer from there, from the Equate brand, and it, and it was really nice. And it was compared to Oil Valet or something. So got this, and it's for dry or combination skin. That's me. But I kind of broke out with it. Like I was getting breakouts. Um, I felt like it was drying my skin more than anything. Like it wasn't even, you know, and, and come to find, as I've learned from other beauties, you know, like this has some alcohol in it. And obviously we know what alcohol does to your skin. If something has alcohol in it, it's going to dry it up. Um, and here it says it leaves the skin feeling toned, refreshed, and moisturized. No, it did not do that for me. So this was really a big fail. And I've been actually enjoying, I love the glow tonic from pixie that is a really good one i'm actually going to try and get that again because it has ginseng there's something about ginseng that just agrees and with my skin and i love it and then the other one i've really been liking is the simply me brand that has no um no alcohol in it or anything like that and it's just it's really been nice so i've been liking that um just you know for it to be budget friendly kind of a thing all right well, another skincare item is from Bath and Body Works, and it's the Cashmere Glow Golden Sugar Scrub. And, you know, here it is. And I love the scent of Cashmere Glow. As a matter of fact, I have the moisture, body butter kind of stuff on me right now. This is the Golden, golden Sugar Scrub, like body scrub. I did not like this at all. I didn't like... I think for me so far the sugar scrubs and it's so much more affordable um, are those the tree hut tree hut yes tree hut those are epically awesome I was so disappointed and frustrated with this one this would be a frustration because I wanted it to work I'll still probably use it but I don't like how it goes and glides on the skin it doesn't evenly it doesn't evenly glide if you like the tree hat one just seems to evenly glide along on the skin and you can scrub this seems like it just you can only do sections and by that time you're using it all up before you know it and just no it just didn't work for me and I was very disappointed on top of that because you know and I guess from what I heard don't know if this is true because I haven't been in a Bath and Body Works but I heard another youtuber mention this that I guess they're gonna discontinue the cashmere glow uh, they do that to me every time when I like a scent, but, you know. So that's another fail, if that's the case. So that will be another epic fail. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the cosmetics and makeup. Um, all right, the first thing, and it's a YouTube Amy Bonnet um, thing. Most people talk about this uh, concealer and seem to really love it. I hear quite a few people hype up over it. And um, it is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. And I was so disappointed because I really wanted to like this. I've heard so many people talk about it um, and how it works for them. And, you know, really covers real nice. Um, it does cover, it did, it did cover not too bad for me. I'm not going to say it didn't cover at all or anything like that. The problem that I have with it, and I'm not sure if it's going to do it now, watch it not do it now and make me a liar, but it's like, it, like there, like, did you see, like, look at that, like oilness and wateriness. I don't know how, if you saw that or not, it, it's like, it comes out as like oil there. Can you see that running? That's oil like oil or something now whether I got a bad batch maybe but I have heard other people talk about that they've had the same you know problem and you know then you got this big wet mess um, that it, I just, it just hasn't worked for me and I know they have a foundation out that some seem to like um, but I'm actually going to be throwing this away because it just didn't, it just didn't work out for me. So, 
yeah, I'm just going to throw this out. I'm going to stick with my Maybellines and those those ones. So that will be thrown out. Um, okay, the next items I have here are a couple of products from NYC. Um, this one here is called C uh, City Proof 24 Hour Eye Primer. Oh. It's there. And I have been trying to use it. However, it comes out now like it's totally broke, for one. It broke on me. But the other thing that I'm finding, and I don't really have, I wouldn't say I have dry eyelids, and I wouldn't say I have oily eyelids. Um, so when I glide this on my eyelids, like on my skin here, it will, it's, it's fine. You know, like I'm gliding it on here, and it can go on my skin fine, on my hand, like, you know. But your eyelid's very sensitive, and it's like I'm having to pull and tug and draw on it to even get what coverage I want for the primer. Um, and it just didn't work out for me. So this pretty much was a fail in for me. So, um, And then this I'm going to throw away too, which is kind of a shame. I mean, unless there's another way I can use it. Maybe there is, but it's been a fail for me. And it's one of their, um, the uh, City Color Waterproof Eyeshadow, it's 24 hour, the eyeshadow, like an eyeshadow pencil. And I thought, oh, goody, you know, it's uh, pretty reasonably priced. Um, I do have milk from uh, the NYX. And um, so this shade here, I had hopes for, and even right now, trying to draw my hand, I'm not able to get anything. Like there's nothing. Like, let's see. I'll push a little harder. Maybe it'll come up now. But, you know, I mean, there's nothing. 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 And it's like, you know, you're going to be dragging and you have to be careful with your eyelids. You know, you have to be careful with that area. It's very sensitive. So it just didn't pan out, didn't work, because I thought maybe I could use it as a base, like some people do with them. Um, I have better luck with Milani and some of the other ones, like Rimmel Milani and, um, uh, you know, like Mally or any of those ones. I have so much more better luck with those, so I'm just not even going to bother. Okay, speaking of lips, I have a couple lip gloss, uh, lip gloss kind of items here. Um... I know everybody raves over the baby lips and that um, I do have one baby lip lip balm. I believe it was from the fluorescent shades that were out about a year or so ago around summertime. I got like the purple shade and I do like it. It gives a nice tint to the lips, something simple, easy just to slide on and give a little color to the lips and you know, you're good to go. Um, so they did come out with these, yeah, the baby lip lip glosses. Okay, and I got this shade and like a peachy shade because it's like, ooh, they're so pretty. And they smell nice. Well, this one smells nice anyway. It smells very fruity, smells really nice. Um, just It's just a plain, ordinary um, gloss. It doesn't really give any, you know, pigmentation. I don't know. It was just a disappointment and it was a frustrating thing. I mean, you don't even see really anything there. Um, so I, I, I'm not too big on them, so I won't repurchase any. I will probably just use this on days for my lips to put a little something on it. But um, yeah, it's just kind of been a fail for me. I'm, I'm not too excited with it. The other one, I just got this one not too long back ago, and it's um, from the Color Icon Wet n Wild. And I thought, oh, this is so pretty. It's like this gorgeous uh, peachy kind of a shade or something, you know, and I thought, oh, it's so gorgeous. And um, this has a chemical smell. That right there was like a little ha huh for me. Um, but it's just like the baby lips. Like there's just nothing, just maybe a little hint of a show. I mean, so, I mean, there's only so many of these that you're really, I mean, you're, you'd be fine with just one to use as a topper then you don't need a whole so yeah i mean i should have rethought on this 
but it was just that shade got me and it's so pretty in here. I was hoping it was gonna be you know, more pigmented, sort of like this baby lips. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful baby pink cream color. No, so neither one of those did any. The last one is a eyeshadow palette and I don't know if I wanna say it's more of a fail or a frustration or maybe it's both. Um, and it was very disappointing on top of it all. And I know a lot of people rave over it and I'm not saying it's terribly bad or anything, but it's just, I mean, it, I might be just used to my Lorac, the Lorac eyeshadows and things like that and the pigmentation and the blendability of those that I'm spoiled with that too. It could be that, you know, but um, there's other drugstore eyeshadows that are so much better and it's the La Palette, L'Oreal La Palette, the Nude One. And, you know, the colors are really beautiful. Um, the one thing I thought of was how many, how many nude, I'm like one of the people, how many more nude eyeshadow palettes do I really need, you know? You know, and the eyeshadows in here are really pretty. Um, you know, some of them, I mean, they have, they have worked, but I feel like I have to work a little extra hard for them. And for the price, like it was almost 15 to $20 for the palette. I never went and got La Palette 2 or anything, um, only because, yeah, I was disappointed. So, I mean, I'll definitely not even get, there's going to be a smoky one out, or it might be out already. I'm definitely not even going to bother with that one because I'm just not feeling it. Um, but, you know, like for drugstore, in my opinion, I think still Wet n Wild has... And it's even cheaper than this palette. I'm better off getting the Wet n Wild, like the um, the nude one, Dare Nude. What I forget the name of it right now, but I have a couple other palettes from them, and they work exceptionally great. I think the quality of them are so much more better than the La Nude, you know, the La Palette, L'Oreal La Palette. Um, and I think also the Maybelline quads, those quads that you can get. Um, I think just between those two are, are way much better. I wasn't really feeling it impressed. Now, I've only used it a couple times, twice, but both times I just felt like even the darker shades I wasn't quite getting, you know. Um, and with the Wet n Wild, I've never had too much of that problem. Cause they're um, pretty I'm not saying, you know, I mean, don't go and buy these things, you know, that's pretty much up to the, these are just things that like was either disappointing to me or fail or like just fails for me. So anyway, beauties, please go and check out the other uh, ladies um, down below. There will be a link. It's just like a one link that you click on and you can go ahead and check them out and see what they have to share and what's not really panning out for them. Like what has been failing for them or been frustrating for them for the year 2015. And, um, yeah, just check them out. Maybe you might like like them and you can go ahead and subscribe to each one of them. So, all right, beauties. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, so if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that and that would help me out a lot. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, uh, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week and um, just have something new each week on with the beauty something beauty related um, and if you came over from any of the other beauties welcome welcome I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and, um, and it was helpful just remember beauties always remember please be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time y'all take care and I will see you then bye bye I love you all bye bye